Hey guys, so today's video is about how to do things when you don't want to do them. I don't know about you, but I am a huge procrastinator, I really hate doing stuff. Especially some of them that are very quite, I find quite boring and I just really hate doing. I will procrastinate them as much as I can. So I came up with a couple of tips on how to tackle those tasks and get them done. So my tip number one is keep in mind that not doing something is usually worse than just doing it. Especially things that you can't really avoid. Like right now, the thing that I have to do that I hate doing is my auto evaluation at work. Hate doing it, it comes once a year, every time I hate it, I complain about it all the time. Doesn't change the fact that I have to do it. So instead of making this a two weeks of complaint before I finally get it done in the last minute, I should just do it the first day I receive it and not think about it ever again. My tip number two is make a to-do list and prioritize. I feel that when you have a lot of things to do, sometimes it's easy to get um, distracted and not, not knowing what you should tackle first and sometimes you want to do everything at the same time and you end up doing nothing. So when I do have a lot of things to do, what I find helps me is to make a to-do list and to put them in ca different categories and prioritize them. So for example, every year what I have to do is to take my doctor's appointment, my dentist's appointments and all of those health related appointments. Some of them sometimes are more urgent than the others. For example, last year it was very important for me that I took my uh, dentist's appointment first because I had one of my tooth that I thought was having a cavity. Uh, it ended up being okay and was just a, a little bit of sensibility. But I wanted to have this appointment before all of the others and it was important for me that if I had to make only one appointment call that day, I had to do it for my dentist first. So it helped me doing stuff and making sure uh, all the things that are more important were done first rather than the things that are less important. My third uh, tip would be um, focus on one thing at a time. This is something I've learned from my father when I was very very young and it's something uh, it's like some wisdom uh, of him that I will always keep with me and he always told me don't look at the big picture because sometimes you can get discouraged. Just do one step at a time. Focus on one thing at a time and it really does help. Usually like for example in this situation with my dad what we had to do is that um, we had to cord the, all the logs for um, the wood logs for the fire for the winter because we lived in a small village and um, mainly the eating system during the winter was our fireplace. We would receive the logs and they would be all like in the big pile and what we had to do is to take one of them at a time and core them neatly in the house. And I remember always looking at this huge pile of logs and I was quite younger and probably like smaller and this pile of logs looks so big and I always complain, oh, we're never gonna make it, it's too long, it's too big and stuff. And my father always told me, just do one log at a time. And that is so true. Before you know it, the pile was over. And it was great. So this is something I think is very important also. When you have a lot of things to do, just focus step by step. First thing first, you'll think about the other thing when you're there. Don't think about the whole picture because sometimes it can be... Um, very discouraging I find. My fourth tip, and it's actually my favorite one, is create a good mood. So for example, for my auto evaluation that I have to do, I will I've decided I could do it at work, but I really don't like doing this there because people are passing behind me at work, which is normal. And then I don't I'm always like kind of hiding what I'm writing because sometimes I think I don't know, I don't like people it's my personal auto evaluation and I want other people to see it. So I usually decide to do it at home or to do it outside of work, which I find is give me a better, I feel more confident because I really am self-conscious about those kind of stuff. And what I wanted to do, I was supposed to do it today actually, but uh, things happened and I couldn't do it. But what I like to do is to bring the form with me in a coffee place, it's not a nice place I really like, have a small tea, small like cookie if I want to good music, outside and just like, you're doing it. And this I find that really helps me. Uh, it really makes me feel like I'm 
putting some things that really please me with something that really doesn't please me and mix it all better somehow. Anyway, I think you understand what I mean. I really find that it helps, it makes you feel good, it makes something that is a bit boring and not pleasant to do a bit more fun. And uh, it really, really kind of changed my attitude towards the task I have to do. My fifth tip is just do it. Sometimes when we have something to do and we don't like it, we think way too much about it instead of just getting it done. Um, for example, for me, it's uh, if I have to exercise, I always think, oh, I don't want to, no, no. And every time my boyfriend says, go, put on your stuff and just do it, and I do it, by the end of it, it's over. So instead of wasting time complaining, I'm just doing it. I think it kind of, I'm looking at my notes there, um, kind of make a loop back to the first point when I'm saying like not doing it is kind of worse than just doing it. it those two points kind of like fit each other very well. But I really feel that if it's something that you don't like to do, get it, get it done, get over with it. It's so much better. Just give yourself a big kick in the bottom and do it. And <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> And uh, I'm gonna throw a sixth one right there because I just thought of it. Reward yourself after doing something that you don't like. I find that it really helps me. Um, if I'm telling myself, well, if I do it today, I could go to the theater and uh, patting myself on the shoulder and just giving me something for something that I really don't like. It kind of gives me the motivation to just get it over with and doing it. <laughs> Okay, so this was my little tips on how to do something when you don't want to do them. I hope you enjoy. If you have any other tips that you find could help and stuff, uh, let them down in the comments below. I uh, would enjoy reading that. And I uh, wish you have all a great day. See you in the next video. Bye!